You couldn't ask for a more picture-perfect day than what we have at Gibbs Stadium here in Spartanburg, South Carolina. It's Southern Conference football, the Western Carolina Catamounts, and the Wofford Terriers. Hi, everybody, and welcome aboard. With Corey Miller, Pete Gannity with you. A game that features two teams that are one and one in the league, so it's got an important slant to it as far as the SOCON chase goes. And two teams that really do get it done differently on offense. Yeah, they do, but they run the football. One does it by spreading the ball out. They're going to spread you out. They're going to attack the flanks. That's Western Carolina. They're going to try to find those gaps. Where's Wofford? They're going to run it with a compact style. They're going to run it up the middle, but yes, the idea is to get it on the outside. The player that's emerged as Western's go-to back, a sophomore, Detrez Newsom, leads the SoCon in rushing at nearly 110 yards a game. I really like him. I saw him last year. He's a good running back that can get north and south really quick. Don't lose a lot of yards. He can make people miss in space. But he's the guy. If he's going, Wofford could have a tough day. And Wofford counts on their fullback, Lorenzo Long. Yeah, again, a different style. He's a fullback. Not many times when we talk about leading rusher to fullback, but in this offense, when people are coming on the outside, they cut folks. He's going to get north and south really quick, a very talented running back. Western trying to win for the first time since 1981 here in Spartanburg. Last year, they snapped an eight-game losing streak in the series, and our kickoff is coming up after this. First possession of the ball game. And a little trickery, and back to the QB, Jax. Got to dump it back in the flat. Smith with room to run near side. First down and more, and he'll get all the way inside the 25. Executed beautifully by the Terriers like they drew it up in the sandlot, and Wofford keeps the chains moving. <laughs> well, broken bone that time. Jax looking, open. man open, intercepted. And Jaleel Lorcat, he was making his case moments ago on that pass interference call, and that time he was in the right place at the right time. His second pick of the year, the fifth on the season for this Catamount defense, and they come up big. And that'll bring us to an end here in our opening quarter of play where we are scoreless it has featured an interception by the catamounts that didn't happen at all in last year's game when they had no turnovers and western won so far right where we started scoreless after a quarter in the books wofford and western carolina out of 17 on touchdowns in the red zone this year, and it's Cal Holloway into the end zone for the touchdown corey holloway the red shirt freshman from atlanta does the honors from two yards out. And this time, Jack's looking to throw, firing, and it's intercepted. Second pick of the day for the Catamounts, and that time, Keon Crossin, a sophomore from Garysburg, North Carolina, stepped in front of the pass for his second interception of the year. And Western Carolina forcing the third Wofford turnover on the day. And suffice it to say, when you're an option team, the last thing you can do is give the ball up, especially trailing early. Well, it's just a bad throw. It seems to sell on him right there. You got a receiver open. You want to throw that ball low and short, maybe somewhat on the ground that the receiver can slide down and make the catch. But looks to me it got away from him. And that's the second one we've seen with Jackson. I mean, the ball seems to be selling on him. Uh, from his throws piece. I don't know if that's because he's banged up, but he don't have that zip that I've seen him throw the football with before. Eyes are down the field, but a lot of times he's he's ready to run. Mitchell going for more. He's got Benson near the goal line, and he's in. Touchdown for Norris Benson. Little slant over the middle defender right there with him, but what a pass by Mitchell for his fourth touchdown toss of the year. Really nice strike, poised. Had good protection, Mitchell, nothing but time to throw the football. Over the middle that time, Sexton, the tight end with the grab near the 25. And just like Hill, he too played at East Henderson High, so they're making the Eagles fans proud on those last two plays. Again, this style's a quick strike, quick play fake right there, just to hold those linebackers because you don't want those linebackers to get the proper depth to take away that passing window. They go quick, Mitchell dumping it off to Newsom, breaks a tackle, and is he able to tiptoe in? Let's see, I he's, in. he's in, touchdown. Boy, how did he stay in bounds on that play? Oh, that's called a good old tight rope. Running down the sideline, he showed a great burst of speed. Again, this was just a late, this a dump off pass right here to Newsom. The pressure comes, you can see up the middle right here, but look at the presence by Troy Mitchell, get the ball out of his hand, and it's all speed right here. Then, oh, yeah, I got a little tightrope skill. Decision. 
Looks like he's intent on throwing this time. He's got a man near the goal line, and let's see, it is a touchdown. Evan Jacks finding Hunter Windham out of the backfield. Second TD catch on the year for Windham. And the onside kick, as we thought we might see, it. and the they Terriers it. have it. Looks like Ray Smith. Ex I wouldn't be surprised they go outside again. In Indeed they do. The pitch to Smith steps by a man, Lorquette, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown. Ray Smith is fourth rushing TD of the year. So fourth down and 10 must convert right here for the Terriers. The ball is fumbled and Western Carolina recovers. The pitch to Smith went off his wrist and there they were to jump on it. And coming up with it, Caleb Hawkins. He forced a fumble earlier, and that time he falls on what is Wofford's fifth turnover of the ball game. Western Carolina is now four and two, and two and one in the league. Wofford falls to three and four, and one and two in Southern Conference plays. The Terriers take a big hit as far as their championship hopes in the league go, but. They certainly have plenty to play for and will certainly look to spring and upset next week when Chattanooga comes in here. Western Carolina now prepares to well, get ready for what's ahead, a visit from Samford at home, and then a trip to Chattanooga the next couple of weeks. The inside running by Holloway. The defense all over the place, forcing turnovers for the Catamounts. Big story today. So for Corey Miller, Pete Kennedy saying so long from Gibbs Stadium. You saw our final. Western pulls it out 24-17. Watch this entire game on replay as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks. Go to watchespn.com. This has been a presentation of ESPN.